So now in this video we're going to look at the active buzzer. Next to it is actually a passive buzzer. So we got the pin there to the left, you see a plus a symbol, and the pin to the right we have a negative symbol. You can see the polarity. On the front it looks just like the uh, active buzzer that we have in the board right now. There's a little plus sign for the uh, more positive side right there. And the uh, active buzzer, if we look at the bottom, it has epoxy or plastic or something filled in right there for whatever reason. So, in any case, that's uh, how I can tell the difference between these two. So I'm going to plug it to the power supply. The active buzzer is the uh, simpler one right there. All we have to do is either apply a voltage to it or not. Right now there's no voltage applied. There's 5 volts to the uh, rail there, to the uh, breadboard, but I have to close the switch to apply that voltage directly across the buzzer. Now it's loud and annoying so I'm going to cover it and there you can see we got the buzz. Now I can lower the voltage looks like somewhere about 2 volts as, as low as I can go and the volume goes down. The current got cut in half going from 5 volts to uh, 2 volts so the current is not directly related to voltage but uh, lower voltages there will be lower current. So now let's put the passive buzzer in. So we're not going to cover the passive buzzer in detail. You can see when I press the button it wants more than 100 milliamps to go through it. I got it limited to 100 milliamps but uh, the main thing is it makes a brief click when you uh, press the switch in this case and release it. It's intended for really rapid uh, pulses, a whole long series of them to get it buzzing and uh, the faster you give those uh, pulses the higher the pitch will uh, buzz. So in any case we're not going to look at that one anymore. We we're just going to focus on the active buzzer in this video which is a simpler one to use. So hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.